cloud code is locked to anthropics models or is it what if you could switch to gpt mid conversations use gemini for free use deepseek for cheap background task run local models through olama all while keeping the same cloud code interface you know well that's what we are building today let's set it up here is the frustration with cloud codes default setup you want to try gpt 40 for something but you can't you are paying for cloud's most powerful model even for simple file searches but cloud code ignores it completely here is what we are enabling switch between gpt gemini deepseek cloud with just one command use cheap models for simple task powerful ones for complex work pay as you go through open router the tool that makes this possible is called cloud code router now let's install the cloud code router so go to the terminal first make sure you have cloud code installed to install the cloud code you have to run this command so this is the native installation no node js required faster startup automatic updates so press enter and it would be installed once it is installed then you need to install the cloud code router so to install that you have to run this command npm install dash g and the package name and press enter and it would be installed globally on your machine that's it two packages that's all what we need let's just verify cloud dash dash version press enter and we have the latest cloud code installed and you can run this command ccr dash v to check the cloud code router version that is 1.0.73 in this video now let's configure it open router is a single api that gives you access to every major ai model like cloud gpt gemini deepseek all of them one api key and all models so open this website openrouter.ai and create an account from here once your account is created click on the profile icon then click on the keys and then click on this button create api key and here you can give it any name i would name it cloud-code-router and here you can set a credit limit let me set it to two dollars for now you can change it to whatever you prefer and for now i will keep the reset limit to na and it would never be expired or let's set it to one day you can set the expiry to whatever you want now click on the create button copy the api key so it is pay as you go you only pay for what you use no monthly subscription so now let's go back to the terminal and here type the command mkdir dash p and on the home directory i will mention dot cloud dash code dash router press enter the folder has been created now we need to create a config file there so for that i will first create it by using touch cloud dash code router slash config dot json press enter now let's open it in the editor you can use the nano editor but i would use the proper anti-gravity rvs code editor so that i could easily see my json in nice highlighting format so for that i would run agy space and let's put the path here and press enter i will paste this json in it so let me explain few parts of it so the key parts are the transformer that you see here in the transformer we are using open router and tool use don't skip this without it cloud codes tool use file editing terminal commands break completely so don't miss it then we have the router default option i'm using cloud sonnet because it hits the sweet spot of speed and intelligence and then i am using the background in the background i am using deepseek for simple tasks it's like 95 percent cheaper for the file searches make sure you have replaced this placeholder with your actual open router api key that you copied earlier from the open router website i will i will copy it again and paste it here okay save it now go to the terminal and run the command ccr so the, instead of running cloud command you will just run ccr space code that would start the cloud code through the router and all request go through your configured providers so let me press enter so here you will see it 
is connected so let's verify if it works first of all look at this it is showing that api usage billing is on so press enter ccr code and now we are inside the cloud code okay press enter and you are now in the cloud code now ask cloud a simple question create a function that validates email addresses press enter okay you see that it is now running searching the files so it is running the tools like a regular cloud code does but this time we are using open router and it is now asking me do you want to make the edit to this all right it has created the function it has re replied me back it is saying that i have created this so basically it has written a lot of information you can see the file is located here you can open it and see and you can see that all of the detail came back from the model i'm going to stop it okay now so here if you are still on the api key here you see that 0.336 dollars are already consumed because i was using the cloud and it was uh, using a lot of tokens because i ran it in a random project so it consumed a lot of tokens but anyway you can also go to the activity to see further details so here let me set the most recent time here i would use the date 21 and let me use this okay so in the last minute it ran cloud for several times to execute our request so in your case if it fails make sure that your api key spellings are correct on your configuration here some open router models don't support tool use so if you see weird errors stick to the models i listed in the config now here is where it gets interesting you can switch models in the mid of the session anytime so you just have to run this command go back to the terminal and simply type slash models space open router so this is the provider name then the model that you want to use that is open ai slash gpt dash 4 o press enter now you are using gpt 4 o let me show you by running the command status press enter and here you will notice it is saying you are using open ai 4 gpt 4 o okay now we are in the same conversation but but model is different so ask the same question again that create a function that validates email address press enter now it is asking you some questions that cloud wants to enter a plan mode to explore and design the implementation approach we don't need the plan yet i just want a very simple function so let me tell it no plan needed just create a very basic small demo function and show to me so now it is asking me the question do you want to edit this file yes okay it has created this file so you see that it is saying i created a simple email validation function etc and here is the function also let's go back to the open router and reload it to see if gpt was hit yes you can see this time it used the gpt 40 that's great so we used different approach same interface one command to switch no restarts are required here now let's try something different let's add gemini through open router so for that i'm again running this command slash model then the provider and then the model name press enter now as it is set to this model you see it is shown here on the status as well so just ask a question hi yeah, just say hi okay it did not reply me so the dumb, the model works because if you go to the open router and reload it you will notice that it hit the gemini 2.5 flash so it works but i can but cloud code shows nothing so here is the problem gemini's tool calling format isn't compatible with open router's translation layer this is a known issue also you can find it on the github issue on the router repo if you want the details i will share that in the description below but the fix is that you can add gemini directly not through the open router but through the google's api so this is where cloud code router shines you can have multiple providers let me show you first of all we need to get a gemini api key for that go to the ai studio ai studio dot google dot com now click on the get api key on the bottom left and you can click on the 
create API key. If you already have created, then you will, it will be visible here. So if you click on that, create an API key, it will show this dialog here. You have to uh, give it some name and here you have to select the project. So you see, I have two projects here so far. So this one is the project that I created for the paid API keys, but we want to use it for free. So this Gemini API project would provide you free API keys. So for that, I will just add something cloud code router and create the key. Okay. The key has been created. Now just click on this button to copy that. And so this gives you the free access to Gemini 2.5 flash and pro no credit card needed. So just copy the key. Next, we need to open our config file. We are adding a second provider alongside the open router. So for that, go to the editor and here after the first provider, add another object of provider that is Gemini. Okay. And here we need to paste the API key that we just created from the AI studio. So let's copy that once more and paste it here. Okay. That's it. So notice here, different transformer Gemini instead of the open router, the router handles the format translation. So now after saving it, go back to the terminal and stop it and restart the CCR by running CCR restart, press enter. And if you see this message then it has been restarted with the latest configuration. Now it's time for testing. So let's go back to the CCR code once more. And here I would just type this slash model. This time I am using Gemini as the provider instead of the open router and the name of the model that we would like to use press enter. And let's ask it the same question that we asked earlier, but wait for some time. It is still connecting. Oh, okay. It is, ha it has been switched to that model. Now ask this question, create a function that validates the email address. Actually, I want to clear the history. So slash clear. And now I will ask this question, create a function that validates email addresses. So let's see what happens. Okay. Now it is asking for the plan mode. We don't need the plan mode. So just make dummy function. No need for plan mode. Okay. It is asking for creating the folder structure. I don't want that. I will just ask it. Just give me function here. No need to create a file, press enter. Okay. It has given me the function just here. That is simple validate email function. So Gemini worked as you see native API, native transformer, proper tool use support. So the lesson is that some models need direct API access, not proxied through the open router. So cloud code router lets you mix both in one configuration file. So let me show you something here. So in the router section here, remember this part of the configuration, the router can automatically use the cheaper models for background tasks. When cloud code runs background operations like file searches or simple checks, it uses deep seek instead of cloud. You get the same result at a fraction of the cost for complex reasoning tasks. It uses your default model. So smart routing is equal to lower bills. Let me share some quick tips with you. The tip number one is use the UI for the configuration. So this is very interesting thing here. Let me close it, clear it. And here you can type CCR UI, press enter. And if you do that, you will see this beautiful UI in your browser. It opens the web interface to manage your configuration and it is easier than editing the JSON. So for example, here you have three providers. Open router, Gemini, Olama. I don't want Olama yet because it did not work out for me. And on the right side, you can change the default model. You have a lot of options. All of the options are coming from the JSON file that we created earlier. You can specify the background model. You can specify the think model and you can select the model for the long context. And for the search, you can specify the model, which model to use for the searching. For the image, you can use the model and other things. So here you can also add a custom transformer by giving it a path. I did not try it yet, but I will try it soon. Or uh, you can add a new provider by clicking on that. And here you can select the template. 
so for example if you want to use gemini click on that if you want to use the open router then you can do that as well and other than that we have the setting button you can play around with other things and we have the json editor you can directly edit your json file from here without going to the editor and then we have this button it would show you all of the log files of the chats that we did i guess so you can easily view all of the logs so this is also interesting and after that we have this language to change the language and then you can update your ccr and you can also save the settings and if you click on the save and restart it would save the settings and reload the ccr for you and second tip is that if you are in the terminal you can run another interesting command that is ccr model with this command you can check the available models so it is the interactive cli to see the models and switch to the models that you want so for example on the top you see what is the current configuration and here you can navigate to change the models and the third tip you already have seen you can always restart your ccr if you make any change in the configuration and uh, Tip number four is monitor your cost. Open router dashboard shows real time usage. So set up alerts if you want spending limits. All right, you just have unlocked the cloud code with unlimited models. I have been running this setup for a few weeks and my honest take is that I use cloud 90% of the time, but that 10%, where can I switch to GPT or go local? Well, this is the game changer where I can cover my 10% of the use case. Config file and all commands are in the description. You can copy paste them from there or I will provide the blog article link. Commands would be available there too. So if you have any questions or any feedback or any suggestion, please drop a comment and also tell me which model setup you are using. I read every comment. Subscribe for more AI development tutorials. See you in the next video.